So what is your class working on? This is medical therapeutics and they are working on medical math and what they're supposed to be doing today and what they're doing is either they're curing their patient or they're killing their patient. As you can see, we've got medication to be drawing up and if they don't draw it up right, they kill the patient. If they do the math wrong, they kill the patient. So today is an activity. If they're all getting a participation grade for, for, for doing this activity. If they cure their if they cure all their patients, which they only have four, that they have to come up with the drug, what the name of the drug is, the brand name, generic name, um, effects, side effects, nursing considerations, but also to do the math correctly and to properly dose the patient, they get a quiz grade. But if they kill one, even one of their four patients, they will have a take home quiz tonight. I can tell you right now for the rest of my medical therapeutic students out there, woo, I only have five students today that saved every single one of their patients. Wow. So that's got it. So how hard could it be to do all this like medication stuff that you do here? Well, you know, carpenters, when they make mistakes, they just cover it. But when a doctor makes a mistake, they bury them. So we, there's no room for error like this in medicine. And it is very easy to make mistakes, math mistakes in medicine. So that is why math, and this to me is very easy to do, but again, I've been doing it for umpteen bazillion years. But it is a challenge for those of you who really have very little metric um, practice. And I'm hearing that that you guys didn't get a very big exposure to metrics unless like you're taking chemistry or whatever. You didn't get a very exp big exposure in, high, in grade school. But that is backed now. Uh, understanding that fifth grade has added that back in. So the last nine weeks, they actually have nothing but uh, metrics the last nine weeks of school. So today we are doing an experiment looking at osmosis in cells. We are looking at two different types of cells in uh, distilled water and salt water see how they change seeing them in the microscope. So what exactly is osmosis? Osmosis is when water uh, diffuses either into or out of a cell. We're using uh, distilled water to represent a hypotonic solution where water diffuses into the cell and salt water as a hypertonic solution where water is going to diffuse out of the cell and cause them to shrivel up. So why does os osmosis need to go through this process to like diffuse into these cells? Uh, it's not it's not something the way it needs to happen. It's something that happens naturally. But our bodies can harness it uh, to, for example, in our kidney function, it is uh, essential for our kidneys to to function properly and filter out waste from the blood. Uh, we use osmosis daily in order to do that. We also use osmosis as part of our immune system to attack bacteria by poking holes in the membrane, letting osmosis rip them apart. 